Hello everyone, how are you? Uh, today we will see about uh, systematic review and meta-analysis and uh, this is full course uh, and uh, I will provide this full course in subsequent days so please follow uh, this uh, course and uh, don't forget to subscribe this channel because to get the next videos so this is uh, a lecture outline so uh, this is also learning objectives and and systematic and review meta analysis uh, course content in this course we will uh, see introduction to systematic review meta analysis introduction to systematic review and meta analysis chapter one so this uh, this course now this presentation chapter two steps of systematic review and meta analysis we'll see these steps uh, we will find it in uh, chapter two uh, and chapter three is literature searching uh, or uh, database searching in chapter four performing meta analysis we will uh, analyze in this chapter, chapter 4, chapter 5, the review of protocol and systematic review registration. In this part, we will see how to uh, review protocol is prepared and how to register in the Prospero and other databases and uh, and Prospero and uh, Cochrane and other parts. We will see it and how to re writing a re a review report or how to writing a manuscript. And chapter 7 is practical session. We will see. Uh, all uh, important analysis which is important for systematic review and meta analysis so we will analyze uh, we will enter data by exit and we will analyze by stata software so now you have to prepare to stata 11 and stata 14 or 16 so uh, this uh, please follow us to uh, all these chapters all these uh, seven chapters will be covered so uh, it is better if you feel feel uh, these uh, materials to go with us so uh, you should install indino software because we will uh, search for databases and we will uh, input we will uh, join or input into uh, indino software excel also sp software is very important especially excel is very important because for data abstraction and data entry and uh, in some part uh, important also for analyzation the other is the stata it's very important stata 11 stata 4 16 or 14 is very important you should install this one and uh, um, common meta analysis we will see it also this one and also it is better internet for the case of searching only for searching uh, this is also you can do it so the other is uh, introduction to systematic review and meta analysis now it's the first chapter so uh, today we will see this one introduction so what is systematic review systematic review is uh, a review uh, you know review means critical appraisal systematic means it be it's then based on uh, planned or based on planned posture or uh, you know planned way so uh, systematic review means uh, reviewing or appraising one's content based on uh, scientific evidence or scientific posture or method is systematic review attempts to collect all empirical evidence based on pre-specified eligibility criteria to answer specific research question to answer research question based on pre-specified eligibility criteria means means, means inclusion and exclusion criteria were pre-specified before uh, data analyzing or collection the other it uses explicit and systematic methods that are selected with view to minimize bias so in systematic review one of the best thing that differentiates from uh, narrative reviews uh, minimize uh, systematic review minimizes bias minimize bias the other is providing reliable findings from which conclusions can be drawn decisions made so it is uh, having strong evidence having a strong uh, important for conclusion and decision because of strong evidences it has so uh, 
systematic review is important for these cases. The other is uh, evidence-based practice. Evidence-based practice requires that decisions about health care are based on the best available, current, valid, and relevant evidence. So this decision should be made by those receiving care, informed by tactic and explicit knowledge of those providing care within the context of available resources. And uh, combining clinical experience, expertise with the best available knowledge from research together with patient values. So evidence-based practice is uh, and includes patient values, preferences, clinical expertise, and based research evidence. It's a combination of all these three things. So, uh, meta analyze having evidence based, it is a part of evidence based research. So, systematic review, it is time consuming, uh, it is team science to reduce bias. Uh, to do a systematic review, at least two groups is important. Mostly, it is best if systematic review is done within five, five or more individuals but it should be more than two because it's team science it's not depend on individual value individual subjective values but it's team science there is, the other is bibliographic software and do not permit advanced research is needed and uh, statistical software and status something like that is very important so meta analysis is a statistical combination of more than two studies to produce single estimate of effect of exposure is called meta-analysis. So to say meta-analysis, at least the studies are, should be more than two. So um, a single estimate, meaning um, findings of more than two studies, will be uh, combined and produce a single effect or a single result. So it's a way to calculate an average, meaning if it is 10 studies, we'll calculate an average of 10 studies values. So estimate an average or common effect, it is an optional part of systematic review. Systematic review means uh, it is a review of evidences or summarizing evidences, but uh, if uh, related with uh, number and uh, taking an average or common effect, it is related with metal. So mostly we, can, we, we are doing uh, just systematic review, but if it is important, we will add uh, meta analysis. So we will say systematic review and meta analysis. That's why we say it's optional part of systematic review. Sometimes, uh, sometimes uh, meta analysis may not be needed, but systematic review is maybe done. We are doing systematic review, but uh, our finding may not be permit us to do meta analysis. So in that case, we will say only systematic review. But if meta analysis is permitted, we can say both systematic review and meta analysis. So context of systematic review, this is traditional review, this is systematic review, this is meta-analysis. So traditional review means narrative review, or we can say a literature review. So based on author, mm, narrative reviews can be done based on individual, by single individual. Systematic review and meta-analysis, it's team, team, done by groups of people, more than two people. Search strategy, traditional reviews based on individual, but systematic reviews based on protocol, based on protocol, based on procedure. There is a procedure or protocols uh, to search evidences more than to database. So um, the other is summary or conclusion. This is author subjective judgment in the case of narrative review. It's author subjective judgment, but in the case of systematic review, it's qualitative mostly qualitative, it is a review of or summarizing of evidences or contents. But in the case of meta analysis, it's a summary of statistical techniques. Yeah, mostly meta analysis is a combination of numbers, summary statistical techniques. So it's a further part of systematic review. So summary statistical techniques is done by meta analysis. So the other is narrative review. By the way, we would have two types of reviews. So the one is systematic review and meta analysis. So the group is narrative review or traditional review. In this case, uh, uh, usually this narrative review is uh, written by experts in the field, uses informal and systematic and subjective method to collect data, to collect or data to select information or to select uh, studies. It is a subjective and informal way. 
narrative reviews a searching quality and sometimes it's not described meaning it's not systematic but in the case of systematic review and meta-analysis searching quality will be uh, explicitly stated and how um, analyze and synthesis done is also explicitly stated usually narrative summaries summaries of evidence but it's subjective disadvantages may have preconceptional bias may overestimate the value of some studies may either underestimate or overestimate the value of some studies so by the way narrative review is compared to contrast systematic review narrative review is uh, prone to selection bias prone to selection bias so uh, systematic review is very important so systematic review is driven by evidence-based medicine movement and cochrane collaboration mm -hmm. so advantage of systematic review is to reduce bias replicable replicable means if you put one mm, if you put the steps how you do your work or your uh, study but if the if one author on another country repeats your step you will get the same finding the same finding for instance if i am doing my research or a review and i can put my steps but the reviewer who can live in another country the reviewer follow my steps or my postures then he will get it the same result with my finding that's why we can say replicable the other is resolve this controversy between conflicting findings for instance uh, for instance let me um, see for instance if uh, one finding is negative finding the other is positive finding for instance five study reports five study report um, negative finding and also seven studies report positive finding both so this is controversial controversial so systematic review will put the average and will uh, resolve these controversies or conflicting findings so the other is provides reliable bias for decision making so uh, because of this is a common effect because of uh, consider more research throughout the world that is uh, its evidence is reliable evidence having strong evidence so uh, key characteristics of systematic review uh, clearly stated title and objective have clearly stated title and objective comprehensive have comprehensive strategy to search for relevant studies maybe both unpublished and published studies explicit and justified criteria for inclusion and exclusion of any study clear presentation of characteristics of each study included and analy analysis of methodological quality a uh, comprehensive list of all studies excluded and justification for exclusion and clear analysis of results of the eligible studies statistical analysis of the data if it is meta analysis included if appropriate and possible qualitative synthesis on qualitative means systematic review quantitative or numerical analysis is uh, meta analysis Structural report of the review, clearly stating aims, describing the methods, materials, and reporting the results. So, what makes the review systematic? Question, systematic review often focused on clinical question. Narrative review often broad in scope. Sources and research, systematic reviews, comprehensive sources, and explicit search strategy. Whereas narrative review is not usually specified, potentially biased. Uh, selection, criterion based selection, uniformly applied, not usually specified, uh, whereas narrative review is not usually specified, potentially biased. Critical appraisal, systematic review rigorous critical, uses rigorous critical appraisal, whereas narrative review is variable. Synthesis, qualitative summary, that includes statistical synthesis, whereas it's meta analysis. Systematic review, whereas narrative review is often it's qualitative or summary. Inferences or conclusions, systematic review is usually evidence based, narrative review is sometimes evidence based. So, uh, this is the large part is systematic review, but this small part is a meta analysis. Meta so, um, meta analysis in based on individual patient data or individual participant data. So literature review, types of literature review, you know, the one is critical literature review, goes beyond simply describing the articles identified, 
both analyze them and seeks to critically evaluate their quality. So critical literature review means evaluating their uh, quality of studies, uh, whereas uh, the second type is state of the art review. This tend to be limited to more current matters. So stat state of the art review means uh, reviewing articles which is current, which is recent or more uh, latest information will be collected or reviewed. So this is an example for state of the art review. Uh, state of the art review, cardiac regeneration and remodeling of the cardiomyocyte site architecture. So this is a type of uh, art state of the art review. So this is a summary. You can read in detail this one. So uh, the second type is um, this is state of the art review. So poor old pores the changing of making and maintaining nuclear pore complexes in aging. This is also state of the art review. Uh, the third type of study is understanding muscle regenerative decline with aging, new approach to bring back usefulness to aged stem cells. This is a topic, but uh, the summary is this one. The summary is also. So these three studies are uh, an example for state of the art review. The second type, uh, the third type is uh, systematic rapid review. This is a rapidly written review carried out over a severely limited time period. Gain some legitimacy in Canada. You can check this uh, link. So, uh, systematic rapid review means it is uh, done in limited period and very uh, fastness of doing the research will be needed. So, uh, an example of this rapid review is this one psychological impact of quantitative quarantine and how to reduce it. A rapid review of evidence. This is topic is a rapid review. So this is a summary. So you can read it in detail to understand what rapid review means. The other type is scoping review. A scoping review is provide a preliminary assessment of the likely size and scope of available research literatures used by policymakers and researchers to decide whether the full systematic review is worthwhile. By the way, mm, scoping review is most commonly done review. That is, uh, some researchers and policymakers will make, will search assessment, preliminary assessment, whether to know the size and the scope of a very research research. So, for instance, uh, if you take COVID um, on the 2019, at the beginning, there is no more literature. By that time, to uh, you can check the size and the scope of COVID literatures whether to do further systematic review or more not you can check it by preliminary assessment this is called scoping review the other type of review is a realist review or realist, re realist reviews or a realist synthesis this is certainly systematic but they are very different from Cochrane type of systematic review designed to work with complex social interventions so uh, this is use of elliptic class rooms in higher education. It's a scoping review. So you can uh, you can see this abstract. You can understand easily what scoping review means. So uh, the other type of scoping review is this one: is done in COVID, novel coronavirus infection in humans. A scoping review and meta analysis. So this is another type of uh, review or scoping review. So the last type of other type of review is umbrella review. Umbrella review is considering large numbers of systematic reviews and research synthesis. Conduct of an umbrella review offers the possibility of addressing a broad scope of issues related to topic of interest. For instance, by the way, umbrella review means it's a combination of more systematic reviews. For instance, uh, for instance, if uh, regarding uh, if three uh, systematic review is done in one topic, for instance, in breastfeeding, if three studies are done, three systematic review and metal is done in three studies, combination of these three systematic reviews is called umbrella review. So umbrella review is more than systematic review because it's a combination of more than two systematic reviews called umbrella review. So this is more strong evidence. So so individual studies will be uh, combined 
by using systematic review also systematic review will also will be combined this is called umbrella review so this is an example for umbrella review whole grain consumption and human health it's an umbrella review this is uh, authors this is abstract you can understand it by reading this abstract the other is uh, another type is an umbrella review on the effect of diabetes on implant failure and pre-implant disease this is uh, a paper which is not published but it's under review but uh, since this uh, study is uh, downloaded more than uh, before a year maybe uh, until this time maybe it will be paper, maybe it was published but in that time it was not published it was under review this is also the same thing it was under review this one the, it was uh, published under research square so this is also umbrella review finally let me show you about systematic review and meta-analysis this is for instance uh, this is a topic this is a systematic review meta-analysis in this case so different types will be searching searching uh, database will be mentioned quality quality of the research will be done that's Joanna Brinks Institute and also different statistical method random effect model and uh, mm, maybe random effect model or fixed effect model for stupid calibers for different analyzing different uh, meta analysis will be mentioned subgroup analysis sensitivity analysis meta regression meta cognitive analysis will be performed so where performed so at this time mm, and also publication be as also done by x test and x test so this is a finding this is all our results conclusions but in the method searching strategy mm, analyze strategy quality appraisal strategy data abstraction data extraction techniques data uh, and selection criteria and publication bias how to test publication bias will be mentioned so you can see this one uh, so uh, this one is both systematic review and meta analysis this is only but study combined prevalence combined only prevalence but in this case this is association so the association between circular ischemic stroke both systematic review meta analysis this is combining not prevalence but also also issue combining also issue so this is this also issue pulled also issue combined not prevalence so this is also uh, important for association so searching strategies abstraction technique mm, statistical techniques meta analysis fixed effect model so all things are mentioned here the other is uh, bears the prevalence and uh, as factors so this is also this meta analysis also have two objectives the one is prevalence the other is also issue associated factor so this is a summary so the same thing is done here the other is here this is also different this is anterior frontal exercise and long-term importance systematic meta analysis this is also the combination of mean the first one is prevalence the second one is odds ratio the third one is mean and prevalence and odds ratio but this one is mean combination of mean so this is mean it was uh, the mean size of anterior frontal was 2.58 centimeter so this is combination of this is also different uh, the way of techniques are more different so this is where the prevalence this study also concerned about there's prevalence this is also concerned about there's prevalence by the way this is an example of papers which is important for you to understand uh, met what metal in systematic review mean so aims of systematic review it is important for systematic review is important for uncover the international evidence to confirm current practice at risk of any variation between studies to identify areas for further future research to investigate conflicting results to produce statement to guide decision making and also based on evidence expert opinion in detail at the bottom case series case report case control cohort the last one more strong evidence is found on the systematic as a top so having strong evidence 
Zahazar, let me introduce you, let me give you about the websites of Systematic Review. The first website is Cochrane Library, this is an website. The second website is Joanna Brinks Institute, this is an website. The third one is Campbell, Campbell Collaboration, this is a website. The other is the Center for Evidence Related Medicine, this is one. And also NHS, Center for Review and Dissemination, this is a website. Bandolio, this is website, PubMed Clinical Curies, Fine Systematic Reviews, this one. This is a link for PubMed. So the other is a scope. Well, what is the scope of systematic review meta analysis? Uh, systematic review meta analysis are essential tools for healthcare workers, researchers, consumers, policy makers who want to keep up with the evidence that is accumulating in the field. Systematic reviews are low for more objective appraisal of evidence than traditional narrative review or, uh, or uh, this traditional review or narrative review it's more objective but narrative or traditional review is more subjective more so this may contribute to resolve uncertainty when original research reviews editorial disagree so meta analysis will enhance the precision of estimate of the treatment effect since more research are combined together the sample size will increase so the sample size increment will uh, increase the precision of the study or the precision of the finding so leading to reduced probability of false negative results and potentially to more timely introduction of effective treatments. Systematic review may demonstrate the lack of adequate evidence and thus identify areas where future studies are needed. F further studies are needed. So rationale of systematic review. Systematic literature review is fundamental scientific activity. Its rationale is grounded primarily in several ideas. Large quantities of information must be reduced into Plative piece of pieces for digestion. Various decision makers need to integrate the critical piece of how variable biomedical information. An efficient scientific technique than embarking on new study. An efficient means combination of more studies. So it has more st generalizability. Has systematically has consistency and in inconsistency of relationships. Will show its consistency and inconsistency. The other is increased power and precision, that is meta analysis, in the case of meta analysis, accuracy or at least an improved reflection of reality. Reality. So, next way, uh, in the next day, uh, in the next video, we will learn about steps of systematic review and meta analysis. Don't forget to subscribe this video, uh, this channel, because to get the next chapters and videos. So in the, this, in the second chapter, we will see about how research questions will, will be formulated, how re develop review protocol and how to be registered, how protocol where how protocol will be registered, and in the third, how to initiate such strategy. We'll see it, how to apply selection criteria, inclusion and exclusion criteria, and also how to apply quality or risk of bias assessment will be done by. Uh, like eager as a cement or something like that the other how to data review data will be abstracted or collected and how to analyze meta analysis we will see different types of analysis like fixed uh, model random fixed whether we are using fixed or random subgroup analysis sensitivity analysis cumulative analysis meta cumulative analysis and also time trained analysis we will see all analysis type finally we will see how to write manuscript in the next chapter so don't forget uh, to subscribe this channel to get all the next six chapters and be ready for the next chapter too so thank you very much for your attention i'm happy to stay with you have a nice time